Now, this week marks Salt Awareness Week, World Salt Awareness Week, in fact, and uh, the Heart and Stroke Foundation of South Africa has welcomed the announcement uh, that the Minister of Health has signed legislation on the 18th of March of 2013 to make salt reduction in the foods that we eat uh, in the industry that are produced mandatory. And of course, this is a good thing because we're trying to look after our health. And uh, joining us this morning, Dr. Vaish Singh. One of my favorite new mamas that I've met, of course, recently. Good to have you in our studio. Thank you for having me. And of course, our nutrition expert, Andrea Duplessis. Great to be having you here. So let's talk about, about the importance about, uh, of World Salt Awareness Week. Why is it so important, Dr. Singh? Well, we eat too much of salt. And the problem with that is that it carries health risks, mm. which are things like um, developing high blood pressure, um, there's also a risk of developing cancer. Stomach cancer is one of those. As a result of too much As salt. As a result of eating too much of salt. Kidney disease, we're seeing very young people ending up with um, end-stage kidney failure and things like osteoporosis as well. So the health risk that's associated with too much of salt is the, the issue that we're trying to deal with. Yeah. So Andrea, when we talk about eating too much salt, I mean, we, we prepare a lot of food here and we, we give recipes and this and that. How do you, find, how do you define eating too much salt, what's too much? Well, um, it's incredible to see the processed foods we eat, how much added salt is already in there. So if we give guidelines to people in terms of how much salt they can use, mm -hmm. it's tricky because you have to look at your intake through processed foods, mm -hmm. but how does a consumer quantify that? And that's exactly why legislation is now helping us yes. to reduce those, that content. Mm -hmm. um, because the quantity of salt that is actually safe for us to consume. We already consume just through the processed foods we eat, and sometimes wow. it already exceeds it, which means yeah. we should not add any salt to food while cooking or at the table. But here's the weird thing. I mean, we, we've discussed it before that salt brings out the flavor out of yes. food. You know, you add salt to taste and this and that, but why is it so bad then for us when it makes food so delicious? Well, the, um, as um, Dr. Vash indicated, the risk for high blood pressure, um, various other diseases, etc. Um, our bodies aren't really designed to consume that much salt. Okay. And that's where we always try to educate people on how to make use of less salt in your food and adding actual flavor mm. with fresh herbs, cooking with lemon juice, adding spices. Um, so actually adding flavor, garlic, ginger, all those lovely flavors where it reduces your need to add salt while you're cooking. Okay, and I, I think like you said also in one of our recipes, I mean, the less and less of it you take, the, the more your body gets used to it, hey? It's the one taste that you can actually change your taste perception. The less salt you use, your taste perception changes, so yeah. the less you need. And um, the average th South African consumes two or three times the amount yes, of salt we should, hey? Just wow. too much of it. In fact, amongst the highest in the world. Wow. So how do we then, I mean, if you're looking to, to change your diet and thus look after your health, Dr. Bush, how do we go about knowing how much salt you should eat? I mean, is there a, a way that you can work through it where when you have something to eat, you look at the label, when you're cooking something, you think about what you're putting, how do you do that? Well, it's difficult because like Andrea says, there's a lot of hidden salt mm. in the foods that we buy. So you're not really aware of, you to calculate how much there is sitting in that is very difficult. But if you think about a typical uh, day yes. in, in South Africa mm -hmm. and the meals that we have, your breakfast and your, your lunch and your, um, your dinner. We eat a lot of bread and okay. that's one of the biggest contributors of, of salt because our bread here in this country has lots, loads of salt. Wow. And so it's being aware that you need to balance it out. Don't use too much of salt when you're cooking. Look at your labels which may be a little difficult, um, but at the same time, if you're able to compare mm -hmm. your sodium levels, choose the option with the lower, uh, the s lower salt content yeah. and stop that habit. You know, we have this tendency of adding salt without tasting our food. Guilty. <laughs> well, there you go. You know, if you're aware of that, you're mm. conscious of it and you stop that habit, yeah. you you will decrease the amount And they say sometimes it's offensive it. to the chef to add salt without even tasting yes, the food in the first place. absolutely. Andrea, quickly, alternatives. Do we have alternatives that we can use in place of salt, perhaps? There are lots, but one should be mindful that if anything that tastes very salty still contains lots of salt. So soy sauce um, typically contains lots of salt, but there are reduced sodium variants. So mm. people have to, once again, as she said, look at the labels, compare the same type of product with another to see, and especially if it says reduced sodium, try to see if that is verified on the label. Yeah. And also look for the heart mark 
for instance, some of the vital health foods products bear the um, Heart and Stroke Foundation mark. So that's mm -hmm. also an indication that this is a safe food for you to eat. Fantastic. Well, Doctor, thank you very much for coming in. Great to see you and great to see you too, Andrea. And remember that if you have any other nutrition-related questions, you can go onto Andrea's Facebook page, Andrea Duplessis, Vital Expert, and ask them there. Right now, over to you, Graham. The Vital Foundation takes action against women and child abuse. One rand from every Vital Pack will be donated to organizations fighting abuse. Make a difference.